Once upon a time, there lived a young man, Francis, who needed a job. It is here, in this company, that our story begins. What is this Momo doing? This why? And you would say you went to school. Obviously, I am the narrator of this story. Just shut up and listen. Michael, another applicant, walks out of his interview after embarrassing his family's name inside. Did you hear the voice of me? Huh? How was it inside? Very tough. Francis asked. Okay. Booby. As Michael exits, Francis stares hopelessly after him, knowing that it is now his turn to enter the fire. Yes, applicant, please. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good evening, Mr. Obuso. Francis Obuso. Okay. Okay, Mr. Francis. Let us know you. My name is Francis Obuso. As the members of the panel get ready to be wowed by Francis, they do not realize that he's a loser who barely graduated with a toy class and came here today with forged certificates. M Margaret? What was that? Who's her, ma? Who is that? Ma, it's not true, ma. It's not true. Francis lied. I'm not lying. He lied again. Um, what is going on here? Ma, I, I, I don't know who or what this voice is. He just started talking while I was waiting outside. So are you telling me that if you should run the check with your school, everything in here will check out? Ma. Now this is my problem with Nigerians. Tell me how on earth will you forge certificates? Margaret scolded, which is a bit hypocritical, seeing as she too lied about her credentials to get this job. Blood of the lamp! Ma? Margaret! Is this voice telling the truth? No, ma, I, I really don't know what this voice is talking about. Margaret lied. She in fact knows exactly what I'm talking about because she never went to any business school. Margaret! Not even Harvard. Uh, hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Let's take a breath. Hmm? Uh, who is this voice going on? Exactly. Eh? Well, we don't know what it is, but we know Margaret. She has contributed a lot to this company uh, yes. since we hired her. Mr. Peters, the company MD, heroically defends Margaret. Although not so heroically, they have been having an affair since she was hired. Jehovah! To the blood of Elijah! Margaret! Ma! You whore! No, ma! Here! Do you really know what you're doing? Don't get quiet! When you won't come from Friday evening praise and worship. So this is how you go around. This is how you carry about in your life. This is how you go. Oh, you're so shameless. Shameless. Ma, Keep it quiet! You! Ma? What is this voice? I, sw I swear to God, Ma, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he's talking about you. She's talking about you. Maybe you know something. You! You need salvation. Uh, yes. Lord have mercy. Uh, we're actually in love and he's, he's going to divorce his wife. Uh, we'll get married. As Margaret tries to explain to the judgmental Mrs. Adebayo how she is in fact not a whore, Mr. Peters hides his face because he knows he has no intention of leaving his wife because Margaret is merely his side chick, just like Dupe in accounting and Mary, the receptionist. Ah! You bastard! Hey, 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 hold on! Look, this is a business environment. Mm. And you both have to be professional. Mm. Now, Obviously, we have internal issues to resolve, but we have to put all of that aside to handle this issue at hand. Ah. This voice! 
<laughs> Everyone waits to hear some secrets about Mr. Okonkwo. Truth is, is the most decent, scandal-free employee in this company. I wonder why the board voted to fire him this week. Is that, is that true? I, you were not actually supposed to find out until Friday. Is that supposed to make it any better? So, you both have been doing conspiracy behind my back. Mr. Okonkwo exclaimed, his eyes filled with tears as the pain of his colleague's betrayal pinched his soul. You know what? Fuck you. And fuck this company. And fuck this voice! Mm -mm. Hmm, threesome. Well, um, in spite of all that, uh, I quite agree with Mr. Okonkwo on his earlier suggestion. Mm. What are we going to do about this voice? Ma, ma, sir, please. I'm sorry I tried to fool you, you people earlier, but please, I'm desperate. I need a job. Anything that you can offer me, please. I don't mind, please. Hey, yeah. Don't worry. We'll just put you on the staff as one of the cleaners. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you. God bless you, ma. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Francis pauses in the middle of his shameless begging to thank his stars that Mrs. Adebayo is such a kind and caring woman. Which, of course, she isn't. She really only wants him around because she likes her men young and soft. Hi, guys. Sorry, I'm Enter late. Charles, the office wonder boy. Uh, why are you just arriving? You ought to be here since morning. Yes, about that. Sorry. I... Uh... My car broke down and I went serious traffic on the road, you know. Charles lied swiftly. The real reason he's late is because he spent the morning at Mr. Peter's house. Huh? Eh? Huh? What? He spends most mornings at your house with your wife. Why? For what? For fellowship, obviously. Um, okay guys, I think I've got something outside. Huh? What? You are sleeping with my wife! 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 You Hello security, please get in here right now, conference room. Thank you. Will you stop it right now? What's the meaning of this? Oh my goodness. Oh my God. will be getting or giving a job. Little did he know that Mrs. Adebayo's husband is a colonel in the army. <laughs> 